Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. In my last video, I had shared with you a flip through of a couple of shabby sweet uh, mini journals that I had made using Kerry Ann's uh, latest digital kit called Vintage Love. And she is a shabby art boutique. And I'll put down below all the links to um, her Etsy store, her uh, website, as well as her um, Facebook and YouTube channel as well. Uh, these are just a, an absolute gorgeous uh digital kit collection which you can instantly download and you're ready to create your wonderful projects using um, Kerry Ann's kit. So these were the uh, mini journals that I shared with you and I'm making these as um, some happy mail or a surprise happy mail for a couple of my crafty friends who uh, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and I don't want to say their names in case um, I'm going to give it away and I just wanted to surprise them and have these sent out and um, they're not finished but I will put down below the link to the journals if you want to have a look and see um, the flip through of them but I want to show you how I put these together in case you have also purchased the Vintage Love uh, kit collection and you want to make something similar to these journals that I've made. Now, these are just so cute and I'm going to make another one now and I think I'm going to be making that one for myself. Um, so I just think it's just a, just a cute little pocket sized journal and um, I may even make it for a giveaway so I'll, I'll see how I go. Um, these ones are not finished yet but I really want to show you how you can put these together. And I've also made a couple of little mini paper packs as well uh, that I will have in my shop and I'll show you those little mini uh, paper packs as well um, at the end of the little how-to tutorial on how to put these together. So I did use the uh, file folder uh, fussy cut image that's in the fussy cut file and it is these um, mini file folders and there are two to a page and you can print these either in an A4 size or a letter size um, paper and I printed these ones on a thicker like a cardstock uh, A4 size just so that it'll be a sturdy uh, a more sturdier cover so this is the mini file folder I'll just turn it this way so you could see so you can see this is the shape of the mini file folder which is this one so I did make two. So you can make um, a, you know, a bunch of these for your crafty friends or for yourself or as gifts. So I've already pre-cut one already. You just cut around the outline and then you then just fold that in half and you've got yourself a cute little mini file folder. And there is also a smaller size too if you want a, a little cute little teeny tiny one. There's also an elements file where you could... Uh, resize your file folders to whatever size you like in the kit so that's one other great thing about Carrie Ann's kits all right so let me just grab everything together so we can so I can show you how I put these cute little uh, journals together and in here there is also a little tuck spot here which I'll show you how I put that together if you wanted to add one of those in the journal so I have my um, mini file folder already cut and folded and then I have some of the bits and pieces that I want to use for the pages uh, so I have uh, some of the background images that are in the kit these ones are the 5x7 size and I wanted the two different patterns so I just think it looks nice if I've got different patterns on the pages so I've just uh, tore it with my ruler on the outline of the images and then I'm going to re um, I'll cut them down so I've got three of those and I printed these ones just on normal photo paper so it's not too thick so I just wanted my pages to be a little bit thinner so it's not a bulky journal uh, I've also have some of my tea stain papers that I had a tea dyed stain myself and these are the little paper pack kits that I'm going to show you that I will have in my shop and I also have a tea stained parchment or grease paper which I'll also use that as part of uh, the pages and I think that is all there is that I've added in here there's also a music sheet let me see if I've got one 
Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. So I have one music sheet. Now, if you don't have a music sheet or any of the tea, tea dyed paper, you can just use your simple, uh, just use your normal uh, photocopying paper. And you can just, uh, let me see if I've got one spare one. Let me just grab one. If you're sort of limited to uh, your uh, supplies to create these sort of mini journals, uh, you can also just do it this way, which is fine. So this is your normal um, photo paper. I'm just going to fold this in half for now. And I'm just going to tear it. So if you want to give that sort of rustic, shabby kind of journal feel, I'm just going to scrunch up my paper. Don't be afraid to scrunch it up. So I've done that, and I'm just gonna open it back up and just sort of flatten it. So I know not everyone has a lot of uh, the class supplies needed to make junk journals or anything like that. Uh, so look, that's just good enough like that, and you can just sort of flatten it out a little bit more if you want it a little bit flatter. And if you have uh, some distress ink and you can still do it that way if you don't know how to uh, tea stain your papers. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to use this one. I'm just going to go over it. And I'm just going to just, just lightly go over it. Just to give it that sort of, you know, uh, stained look. I don't really like to make them too dark. I just like to lightly. So you can do that. And if, if you don't have any ink, you don't even have to worry about doing any of this. All right, so that's pretty much. You just keep going to as um, how dark you would prefer it, and then you know you've got yourself like one of these tea stain papers. Uh, it's just another way for you. It'll still work. The great thing with making these sort of journals, there is no right or wrong, I think, in there's no fault. The more imperfect it is, the better uh, outcome your journals will look like. All right, so that's all I'm going to need to make my pages. And then, which I've just misplaced them all now, I have them ready to have them for the... Hmm, where was it? Did you go? So I've got those, and I think they're supposed to be, what else did I have? So I'll just start with these for now. So I've got uh, one of the postcard images that's also in the kit. This is the larger size. You'll find that in the uh, kit, and I've just cut that out, as well as the larger size tag. And this one will be the one that has four tags onto a page. So that's the larger size, so I've cut that out. And these ones were printed on normal uh, photo paper as well. So I'm going to do the same with this. I'm going to squash this up and just open it up. I'll leave this one as is so you can see uh, in here. I think it's in this one. That's this one here. And then I did lightly distress the edges, which I'll do that um, as we go along with the journal. All right, so I've got that, and then I'm going to I'm going to fold this over about that far in. That will create me. That'll give me that little flip page in the middle. And then I think there was a little tag, so so I can show you. Here we go. So I might just use this one. So I've got a tag. So these are the elements that I'm going to use to create the journal. I have three background papers. A music sheet if you have one if not again just use any papers that you want or you can just add more of the uh, background papers to create your pages one of the parchment paper and some tea stained paper and only just these three pieces for the inside part so let's put together the journal uh, let's work on the journal cover and I've also got a few uh, with some pieces of trim here that I'm going to create the little tuck spot in the front of the journal so if you wanted to do that to the front I'll show you how to do that as well as the binding um, to put them all together so the first thing I'm going to do is I want to cover the white part of the 
file folder. So I'm just going to select one of the background papers. So I might use I might use this one, I think. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to place that like that on the edge. I'll go this way along the edge and that's sort of on the edge there and I'm just going to use my ruler just tear it along there and this way so that will help me cover this part when I go this way and I'm just going to glue that down I try and make this video as quickly as I can. I don't want it to go for too long, so I'll try and look as quickly as I can. So I'm just going to glue all around throughout the whole mini file folder. So I'm just going to grab, I'll just add a bit more. do that so that will now cover the white part and I'm just going to cut around the outline just fold it back up so now I've got that all covered and what you can do next is what I like to do is I just use my scissors and just give a nice sort of distressed edge look or more shabby feel to the cover so you just go along and do that I won't go I won't do too much because I don't want to waste too much time but you get the idea just keep going along till you're happy with how much you want to the edges so I'll just leave it at that for now and now I'm going to grab my next uh, papers and I'm going to uh, let me just see so I have this paper here which is my tea stained and I'm going to uh, just tear it to the same height as the uh, folder mini fold folder so I'll do the same thing and I might do that to the other one. So I've got two pieces. Alright, so there's two pages already. And I'll do the same with the background papers. Just line it with this one. I might even do the music shit. I might just do all of them and then I'll work with the height later, how much I wanna what I wanna do with them. And I'll do the same with this one. Okay, so now I've got them all at the right height. So now what I want to do is just decide how I want my pages to look. I'm going to make it the same as this one. So for this one, I'm just going to go back and line the edge here with the edge of the tea stained paper. And I'm going to tear it along this side. So I'm just going to go this way and do this. Take that out. So that's the first one. And then this one, I'm going to leave this one as is for the front. 
So, what have I got here? Let me see. I might change it up a bit. I'm going to have a little flip fold for this one. So I'm not going to cut it. So I'm just going to place that there. I'm going to create a flip at the back here. So that's what I've done here. So what I've just made a little fold here. So when I put that fold there, it's going to be a little flip to make it extra a writing space. This one I'll just fold that in half for the first one. So that'll be a page. So that'll go in like that. So I've got one, two. So you just sort of work around and work your way to however you want your pages to, to be. And so this one, I want that on this side. I'm going to do a fold here. Same thing. I'm just going to fold that. Just trying to make them to. And instead of tearing, I might just do the same thing, flip that in. I'll decide on that later. So that's going to go in like that. That and that. Got that. And then what have I got on this one? I use one of these. is the postcard image which is this one which I scrunched up and this one is the same thing I'm just you can just I did this you can just tear it along the edge to give it a more so you can just do that all along I'm just gonna fold this one in half and place that in there So I'll come up, place that one in there. And the next part is the another background paper. Um, to this one. And I don't even have to use scissors when I'm making these journals, which is so much fun. So that can go in there, that can go there. And then I've got the little tag part and that can go in the middle. That's pretty much all of my pages all done. So I'll show you, I think I missed the music sheet. Where have I got that? One, two, three, four, Put that in here. Okay. Just gonna guess. In all your little leftover pieces like this, you can make little clusters and you can make little pockets. So don't throw them out can still um, make some little embellishments with them or add them into your pages later which I'll probably will because um, so I want to also show you how I put that pocket there together as well hopefully okay so now we have the page done which is that one and then there was the parchment paper then I've got that one, that one, that flips open that way. 
basic sheet, and that and that. So all you do is, with your e extra pieces of papers, you can just fold them so uh, you have all these extra little interactive uh, flip pages. So that's all I'm going to do there. So that's your mum middle here. Then I've got my cover that'll go there. So that. Making sure everything's all lined up. That. All right, so now I'm going to just have a look here. All right, we'll do this one last. Let's put the pages together, which is something I think a lot of people always like to know how to bind your journal pages. It's pretty easy to do. So you can see my pages are a little bit long out of the folder but that's okay. You can trim it down if you think it's if that bothers you. I like it all staggering like that. So you can see this is the same with that one. All right so now I've got all that. I'm just going to grab a couple of uh, paper clips. just to hold the pages together while I um, get it together. Just making sure everything is in the middle. And I'll just put that in place. So that way it all stays in place. Just a piercing tool to punch out or piece a couple of holes so we could uh, stitch the pages together. And then you'll also need um, a needle and some th strong thread. I'm just using here some crochet string and one of my favorite all time needles. And these are needles that split open and then you can slide your thread in and then it's easy to uh, stitch i still have these in my etsy shop i think and you get a pack of two you get a long one and a smaller a smaller size um, if they do sell out i will have some more restocked in about three weeks time so um just that's what they look like it's just really easy you can thread your beads through there easily all right so i'm just going to find um just find, piecing two holes in the fold part. So I'm just going to do that. So it comes out through there. And one more on this side. Perfect. So that's good. And then I'm going to have the uh, string part in the inside. So we are going to thread from the inside out and then in from the front leaving a, a good enough tail as well so we could make a knot and then I'm going to go back in one more time I can get that in there so just go in one more time and through the back and that's all done there and then you're just making sure it's nice and tight there with the tension and then we're just going to do a couple of simple double knots and then you've got your book all bind it together. It's just a, an easy little booklet. And then you can do a bow if you like or just a double knot. That's up to you. So I'm just going to do a quick little knot and then I'll just leave that. And then you can add some dangles to the bottom here if you like. So that's pretty much all done now for the book. It's pretty simple there. And I'm just going to show you quickly how I um, added the 
um, this little tuck spot here if you wanted to add one of those with the little tags um, to create a little spot there. All I've done was I'm just going to grab a little tag and it's just going to get stuck here this way. It's just going to get glued here. And that's the white part which I don't want showing. So you can just use um, another of the background paper just to cover that part. And then you're going to put that in the front like that. So let's do that. I'm just going to use a bit of a book page. Just quickly. Oops. I'm trying to work really fast here. So I'm just going to put that there. Just tear off the little extra piece that we don't need. Okay, that's fine. And then this is going to get placed like that. And then that's going to be a tuck spot in there. So what we'll do now is we're just going to add a little bit of glue just to uh, here. And that will get stuck like that. So then the white part's covered and this will get placed there. So let's glue that down. I'm just going to find the right spot to glue. Actually, I don't really want to use this tag. Mm. Actually, you can also use one of these. If you don't want to use a tag, you could use this one. I might use this one. I like the square bits. It's easier to glue. So I'm going to use this one instead. So I'm just going to glue just about there along the side and halfway in. And then I'm just going to place that in there. Did I glue that side? Oh, okay. I didn't glue that top. I just glued the two sides. I've nearly forgotten how I've done it. All right, so that is glued down. So then you'll be able to have that as your tuck spot in there for your tags. Just like that. Just get that glue off. There you go, and then you've got your flip page. So that's how I've done that. That's all in. So that's that one done. And now I'm just going to... I'll do the a little pocket in here. Just if you have some little extra pieces to add a little spot for the blank part here. So I'm just... I just want to grab uh, any piece of your background paper. Take this one, and I'm just going to fold it in about a quarter of an inch. I love making these pockets. Just love making them. It's so easy. So quick. So I've just fold them in half. That there's fine. So I just got these two and they're just going to get placed like that. Glue one side. Place that in here. And the other side. And I actually want it so that the mini fold folder can fit so just grab your little mini fold folder these are the little smaller ones so cute and I just want to make sure that that will fit in there inside the little fold bit and if it's just a little too tight I can just move this out quickly before the glue dries and just sort of just move it out a little bit more so that will be able to fit in here 
simply. And now I'm just going to cover the front with some more of the other little pieces. So I need one that's going to go right over to the fold. Let's see if I've got one. use that one so these are one of the images as well from the kit so I'm just going to put that, that there and that'll cover that so then it'll give me that pocket I might just tear this with this one I did add a layer of vellum to the back if you can see but I don't have any around in front of me so I'm just going to use this image so I'm just going to go and do glue down three sides place that there and that should fit the little folder once the glue's all set I've got glue in here I think still one second Keep putting it in the wrong side i didn't glue the back so i gotta fix that so there we go so that's that one and then to just do the front cover to make a side pocket in the front like this one if you have some trim if you don't have any trim you can just use your papers let me grab some of this trim and see what i've got here to work with so i did use some mesh if i have some I think I've got that so you just want to place that here it's actually not long enough don't have any oh, so this one's not quite long enough but get one as long as you can as a folder and that's going to get placed about that far in I might just cut this out That'll go there. That'll be like the top pocket. You see the mesh? So let's just glue that down. Okay. So just gonna glue the one side. If you have a longer piece, you'd, you'll glue the bottom bit, but because it's short, I'm going to add something down here to give it a more longer side pocket. So I might add, I might just add, I might add this little piece of paper. So you can, you know, there's lots of ways you could so I might do that at that there so what I'll do is I'll glue one side and then one side is the other side and then I'll glue that down to help me get a longer pocket so you can see I've got now more length there and I'll put that there and then I'll just add a little embellishing there so that's done and I'll put some trim to just decorate that part here and this piece actually I might just use this piece okay so I have these in my shop these cute little ruffles you get a pack of two uh, two I think two uh, a cream and a white one Get a good length as well so you can use it for so so many things in your projects so i've just trimmed mine down a bit so it's not covering the mesh so i'm going to place that there so i'm only going to add glue just to the edge only otherwise if you add more glue here you won't be able to open it so i'm just going to put that there just decorates the it's really cute isn't it really cute and let's grab 
and now I've passed cut a cute little flower rose here we go this is one of the flowers in the kit I'm just going to place that there just to finish that off And you can keep adding more uh, more trim dangles more collaging and there is your pocket all done and then this part here you grab uh, your strength length of fabric or string or anything you like so I've got I'll just use this form which so happens to match and I'm just going to thread it through the part that we create the binding and I'm just going to tie a knot just a single knot's fine and then you have yourself your closure and then you just make a bow you can tie it and that will keep your journal nice and tight and nothing will fall out so that's that part and then you just have fun adding another pocket here if you like there is a another pocket part in the kit that you can add a pocket here or just fussy cut another image if you like like this one here and you can use it as a tuck pocket like I have here this cute little image and then that becomes a tuck pocket so there is a lot of uh, extra fun parts of the pages that you could keep adding elements to it and adding um, some stamping you can Add some inking to the white part if it's too white. And then you can just, just let me do that. Just to sort of wear it in a bit. So that you can see. So that's how I've assembled this cute little mini journal using the mini file folder from Shabby Art Boutique's Vintage Love Collection. So they're the uh, journals. So with the uh, paper packs um, that I put together, I was meant to do that in my next video, but I'll just quickly uh, show you what I've put together. Uh, if you wanted to make the uh, journal with the uh, Vintage Love Kit, I have put together a little paper pack that cord, um, that you could use to make all of these fun uh, pages into your journals and I've packaged it up this way and I've added some stamping using a Your Creative Studio stamp. These are the little ruffle trims that come in the kit and it's just attached to a pin which you can just undo there's also a little charm dangle and i've added a little charm dangle here and you can make a little file tab like this one and you can use that little charm on there there's also a paper clip and this lace can be undone you can take that off this paper clip if you didn't want to use it as a clip and then you've got this extra lace and inside the um, bag uh, all the papers um, that I use to add with the digital prints there is some fabric trim let me just take it out quickly to show you uh, this is not in my shop just yet it will be in my shop in, a, in about a day or so uh, and I'll only have six of these packs I think six or eight uh, you'll get a piece of music sheet as well um, a couple of book pages if you wanted to use those one of the uh, an embossed paper it's a pretty print a piece of vellum uh, you'll get two uh, mesh fabric uh, one is a white one and one is a cream color I know you can't tell but one is cream and one is white uh, a piece of my a tea stained parchment paper and you'll get uh, one two three four sheets of my tea stained papers and a four by six a scrapbook uh, floral paper which has got a purple solid color at the back as well as the 
paper bag and then you can also use the little craft paper to do some uh, collaging or embellishing so there's a lot of extra little pieces and pieces there so this is what's a little paper pack kit that i have i've got a couple more i'm putting together for the shop and i'll have um, an update of my etsy uh, listings as well coming shortly so you can see what i'll have listed in my shop i've got a whole heap of fun stuff coming to my etsy store as well but this is the little kit pack and um, hope you enjoyed the little how to put together a little mini journal using the file folder from uh, vintage love kit so i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you all soon bye for now